today I'm here with a new video and if you don't know who I am, my name is Lisa. <clears throat> I'm a cruel cool YouTuber that does a lot of makeup content. Like something is up with my voice. I can't like, it's just like I lose my voice like in the middle of a sentence. I don't know what it is with it. Okay, today I'm going to do a get ready with me and I was talking to my boyfriend just like 10 minutes ago and I was like okay I'm going to do get ready with me and talking about who I am question mark but I was like it's going to be so confusing because I don't really know what to say and he was like just name it get ready with me get ready get ready to be confused so yeah this is my get ready with me as a get ready to be confused I feel like I might confuse myself, but we will see this is going. I'm going to use the side by side from Nabla today. And do you know what I think I want to do? Maybe this is a stupid idea. Starting the confusion. Oh no, no. Can you please? Oh no. Oh no. Maybe it didn't change it. Yeah, maybe a little bit. So I'm going to use this today and I'm going to prime my eyes. And then just do a look. I have no idea what I want to do. Because we are getting confused. Maybe I should scooch a little bit closer. And I want to do this here. It's like the cats know that I'm recording a video and wants to be in here. It's like my boyfriend is in the living room, but they do not want to be with him. Maybe because he's just reading a book and I'm doing fun things apparently I don't know but I know that the most of you like them or I guess that all of you love my cats okay, so I'm going to scooch a little bit closer so I do not know which colors I'm going to use I'm just going to do something so what this might confusing video will be about um what i will talk about i will i really don't know sometimes <laughs> do you see astrid what is she doing shenanigans they have like a little i don't know if you can see it there so they can go up on the wardrobes in here What do I want to talk about? First off, I think I touched this a little bit in another video. Maybe I didn't. How is the lighting with this one? I, as you see, I have changed my settings. Or, yeah, everything about this channel in the background a lot. And it is because I want to film more videos. I must have talked. Or did I? I can't remember. But whatever, you can hear it once again. It will not kill you. <laughs> and uh, I just want it to be easier for me to just sit down and film and a little bit more comfortable. And yeah, this is how it has to be. Now I'm sitting at my makeup table and you just have to see the bed and everything in the background. And I've been thinking about this so much. <laughs> like some tips you get if you want to grow on YouTube is like, do it as a professional. But you know what? I don't have the energy, I don't have the time, and I don't have the motivation for trying to do things perfect. And look more <laughs> professional. I, I just don't. It's not like who I am. It's not, I have other things to do in my life. I'm going to be honest, not so many other things to do in my life, but <laughs> I am at least 40 minutes a week, 40 minutes, yeah, 40 minutes, I wish, 40 hours a week away on my day-to-day -day work. It's more like maybe 45, 50 hours a week. And... I don't have time, and I don't have space, and I don't have energy, and I don't have money to do this to make it look like 
a super exclusive fun channel. I, I just don't and I think I just need to realize that that this is what we have to live with. This is me doing my hobby in my small apartment. Th that is just that is how it is and it's going to be like that. I dream for bigger things. I really really do. But that's for right now. It's not how it is. I don't think I, I need to get it into my head. It's this is my YouTube channel. Simple as that. And <laughs> also like okay, I don't know. I, I think I want to talk about this, but I don't know what to say. Maybe I should just maybe it comes comes to me when I do my makeup, but like do you know what? Right now I have no idea what I want to, to do. I take this one. I am 32 years old. I'm born in 1989 and I <laughs> my name is Lisa and I don't know who I am you know like people in Sweden you talk like you get a crisis when you turn 30 like 30 years krisen 30 year old crisis I don't know if it's in English like middle age crisis <laughs> and people like turn their life around just because they're getting older I don't know if it's just a late thing for me, but I I don't know who I am, I don't know what I want to do, and sometimes it even, doesn't even feel like that I know what I like. <laughs> and I, maybe it's because of this, because I have been this year at my work for 10 years. And if I look back who I was when I was 22, when I started to work at this job, I am a completely different person. I think. <laughs> Maybe this go back to like when I was... Okay, do you want this super long throwback story thingy? Maybe it's going to be super short. I don't know. But here we go. When I was younger, I wanted to be cool. I wanted to be like a little bit more, maybe not punk, but a little bit more to that direction with like my clothing style and maybe a little bit of like cyber. If you lived <laughs> and was young and lived in Sweden in the beginning of 2000 and like 2005, like being punk and maybe too a little bit cyber. I don't know if you get what I mean. I really love that, but I never had the courage to do it. Never. I started to wear black and do super like a big eyeliner around my whole eye when I was 14 or 15. I think I started with black when I was 14 and started to do my makeup when I was 15. And then I had like this big hair and I had bangs and I did stars underneath my eye and all like that. And I always dressed in black and I still do it most of the time. And I never had the courage. I come from a pretty small city and it was like, <laughs> everybody knows everybody. And there was just one high school where I lived and even in Sweden that is pretty small and we was I don't even know how many we were but around maybe 100 150 students and that is what is on my workplace right now that's insane um so you couldn't like stand out much and then I started to go to I think it might be like high school, but in Sweden, when you turn 16, 15, 16, you go to another bigger school and you like decide what you want to study before you go off to college. And then I did it in a bigger city and I still didn't like go full out with how maybe I wanted to look, but yeah i don't know and like for my septum piercing i took this i think it was five years ago 
or maybe more. I don't know. Six years ago? I don't know. I have wanted the septum piercing since I was 17. But like, I never had the courage. And also, I have been suffering. I had my first anxiety attack when I was 17. And I have been feeling... I have never like... Taken care of my anxiety. I've always liked... It's there and I have to live with it. And I have take let it take a big part in my life. And maybe that was the reason why I didn't like have the courage to pierce my septum. I don't know. And uh, where do I even want to go with this? I have always wanted to be a little bit more. Maybe like this, like I look now, like with ear weights, septum. And I don't know. I always wanted to be <laughs> look a little bit more cooler. I always think that I look like too nice. Like, not nice like in good looking, but nice like in innocent. And I feel that still <laughs> that I look like that. I had a side cut before. I don't know if you know that, but I had a side cut before, like up to here. And I have really long hair and side cut. And then I decided, no, I'm going to grow it out. And I didn't think, okay, I'm going to do my makeup. I didn't think that the side cut was such a big part of my style. But um, now when I don't have it, I think it was. That made me feel a little bit cooler. And now I don't have my side cut anymore. And it feels like I have such a boring hair. It's like my hair. What, what even is this? I don't know. So I still am in a little bit crisis. And I still don't know how I want to look, who I want to be, what I want to... I don't know. And I just... Sometimes I feel like, okay, I'm 32, I should know this. Maybe I should grow up, sew my ears together, take up my septum. I don't know. But a part of me, like want to make my 16 year old self happy but i don't know if this is making my 16 year old happy like i really want this ray of light but i don't know if i should have cut the crease but like do i really want to cut my crease i don't think so but i think i have to and i know that like style has no age and I don't think that either. I love people that are in my age or a little bit older and have like a super cool style. But it sometimes feels like I am too old for it. I hope that you get what I mean. And also like with work, I never wear my ear weights to work because I don't know how people will react and I don't know what people will say. I remember the first day when I did and my septum and was going to work. I was so nervous. And I know that people... I, I'm trying to be like this. I don't care what other people think. And sometimes... I am like that. I'm really like living up to that, but other times I am not like that at all. But I want to be, but I'm just not. But I want to be one of these persons that doesn't care what other people think. And I have bad days and I have good days. And on good days, I don't really care that much. But also I'm trying to like get that into my head that as much as I care about how I look, everybody else care about how they look. And they don't have time to look at other people. And I know when I'm like out and about, I do not judge people how they are dressed. So why should they judge me? I don't know. But then also now, if you don't want to hear about 
weight related things. You should skip this part. I can write down here when where you can skip to if you don't want to hear about it. But my weight journey. I <laughs> I have been like most young people I guess. When I was young I thought I was so fat. And I thought I was so big. And do you know what? I wasn't even close. When I now look at pictures when I was like 15, I don't know what I was thinking. But then I gained a little bit. You get older, you usually gain a little bit of weight and I started to eat more. And I moved in with my boyfriend and usually when you do that you get some extra pounds. And then I started to train. Me and my boyfriend we trained a lot. I trained like heavy weight lifting five times a week. And then it was super much at work and I stopped training like all together and I still ate the same and I was heavier than I have ever been before. And also during this time I, my mental health was kind of bad so I was like okay as long as I live, as long as I survive this shit. I'm going to do whatever. Okay, I'm just going to try to do things. I'm going to don't give a shit about what's happening. But then I started to feel better and I was like, okay, I really want to take care of my body. And I think it was, I think in, I thought to start, I start thinking, I start, I start to thought, I started thinking about this in the beginning of the year, but in March, I really was like, okay, I'm going to do this. And <laughs> I don't know if it shows on me because you only like see me here and up. Um, but I lose some weight this this year. I can actually check. 26 pounds. Almost 27. I have lost this year and I start to feel better about myself and I start to feel like myself again. <laughs> if you have been here for this last year, you know that I have been feeling shit. In the beginning of this year, it was shit. And last year was shit. But I'm finally starting to feel better. And now I'm going to... I wonder... I'm going to use the <laughs> Fenty East Drops. I bought this. Some weeks ago I have tested it once, but without the primer, so I'm going to test it with this high gloss primer. And now I'm starting to feel better. And not only because I've lost weight, but because things in my life is better. And I want to try to find my own style when it comes to my hair. But I like don't know what to do with my hair and with my clothes but like I don't know what I want to do with my clothes and the part of me is like no you are too old to do this but I know that I'm not but I just have those feelings and sometimes I feel like okay I just need it's it's time for me to grow up do you see that I'm looking like Tin Man I really like this primer but I'm looking like a tin man. <laughs> Good. Okay, I'm just going to shake this. But yeah, I just want to try to find out who I am with my clothes and with my all over style. But I think it's hard. So if you have any tips or if you have the same feelings, please <laughs> let me know. And also like 
Just tell me that you're never too old for anything. I think I need to hear that. <laughs> and you know what it thinks? It feels like the white balance is all cuckoo, cuckoo, cuckoo cray right now. It's always just like that when I'm putting on my foundation. But it looks really good like this e drops. I have it in one, I think. Yeah. The only thing that is nice to being super pale is you can always take the lightest shade and if that doesn't work, you're too pale. Okay, I really like this. When I tested it without a primer, it wasn't this glowy, so I guess that the primer is really like peeking through and I like it. So yeah, just <laughs> tell me in the comments that it's okay to be older and look cooler. You don't have to be in your 20s to do whatever you want. And I have never been one of those that is following um, styles, like the fashion styles. I have never been one of these persons. And another thing that I have a little crisis with is makeup. Sometimes I just miss doing these kinds of makeup. Oops. This neutral things, but it feels like I'm letting you down with doing it. <laughs> but like, I know it's okay to like both. But sometimes I just feel like I don't want to do super colorful looks all the time. Sometimes I'm really liking to begin to do some kind of a neutral look and also the latest I have really been liking a little bit more toned down lips <laughs> and I am like who am I still though red is my lover I love red but other than red I'm just feeling like yeah maybe I should just go with a neutral lip and I am like who am I who are you and what have you done to myself? Kid, you know what? I really like this, but I think I will go in with my Nobla pressed powder. So yeah, maybe it sometimes will come looks like this. Maybe when I'm doing a get rid with me, do you see what uh, I'm not that shy anymore? Maybe it come videos sometimes that I do looks like this. And I hope you don't mind. I know deep down that you don't mind because you are like the best people I know in the world that watch me and you are always supportive of me. So I know <laughs> that you will still be there even if I don't always do color. But it is, I don't know, I'm feeling a little bit, maybe not confused, but it feels a little bit strange. Okay, you know what? I'm almost out of memory on my memory card. So I think I actually... I don't know about this ring. I bought this and I got it home today. It's... Take it off like this. So it's a clicker with a ball on it. I think I like it, but it doesn't want to be straight. Okay. Um, I think I will do my brows and the rest of my base. And maybe I should just do this look complete and then come back and maybe add something extra. I'm going to think if I feel like I've missed something, I probably have and you are probably more confused now than you were like 20, 20 minutes ago. But I will fix the rest of my face. I'm tired of talking. So yeah, I will fix the rest, come back and see if I have any more thoughts on this. This is my finished look for my waterline I drew honey dude. Why do you, why do I even tell you? I haven't told you anything about the other products that I've used and from my lips I took a really old lipstick this is from makeup store uh, it's a Swedish brand and uh, this is fussy I think it's a little bit making me look a little bit dead but <laughs> yeah I guess that is all for this super confusing get red with me I hope that you get something out of it I don't know what though but <laughs> 
I just want to share my thoughts and maybe some of you feel the same way I do and maybe it's you like to hear it that someone else feel the same I don't know I know that I do so I hope that some of you do as well I think that was all for this video now I'm going to do put in laundry doing grown-up things that you have to do super fun and yeah I don't know if I I want to do more get rid with me's but it's just sometimes I really don't know what to talk about but I'm trying to talk about things I'm trying to be maybe not a little bit more personal maybe a little bit more personal but not that private is that the correct term but talk about more I don't know if this, is this a serious thing that I've been talking about I don't know but I would just want to let you know that it's okay to feel confused even though you are too old and you should be grown up and you should know what you want to do because I don't and I guess that a lot of you out there doesn't even know that too and I'm just thinking about my mother she's going um, to retire now she's trying at least and she's like I don't even know if I have done the right thing my whole grown up life <laughs> she's been working at the same place like or 25 years and she's not even sure that that was the thing she wanted to do so yeah I'm trying to think about that <laughs> and uh, I really hope you liked this video and I hope that I didn't confuse you too a lot I do really love this look that I have on I really really like the side by side palette from Nabla I'm going to do more looks with this because or with Nabla overall because I just love Nabla but yeah this is my look with the side by side. I love this palette. So yeah, I really hope you liked this video and I hope that I will see you in the next one. Bye!